Welcome back to the Suburban Ford 7 Sports Cave. Time for a special segment because we got a special guest in studio, Greg Kelser, Pistons analyst. Welcome to the 7 Sports Cave. Well, thank you. It's so nice to join you. Yeah, thanks for coming in. Mm -hmm. So obviously I'm going to pick your brain a little bit about the Pistons. Start picking. Um, but we'll get to that in a second. Okay. First, the real reason you're here, I want to talk about your, your camps that you put on every summer. My basketball camps. This is probably 30, 31 years running wow. now. Yeah. I'm giving my age a little bit, but anyway. Yeah, here, just a little. Yeah. We've got three camps coming up in various areas. We like to spread it around and give kids all around the area an opportunity. Our Detroit camp, which starts tomorrow, sold out. Wow. But then we start um, next, uh, a week from Monday at Southville High School. Mm -hmm. uh, boys and girls ages 7 to 17. Um, we go 9 to 3 each day. And then we'll transition to Gross Point North High School uh, later on in July, July 31st to August 4th. And then we'll finish up with West Bloomfield High School August 4th to the 11th. So you said you've been doing this for like 30 years now. What, what's the motivation behind you know when you started it all that time ago, and then the fact that you keep doing it every year? I love for kids basketball. In Detroit? I love basketball. I always have, and, and and I love to see youngsters picking up the game and trying to get better. And it's always nice to do it with, I think, uh, experienced uh, coaching mm -hmm. and guidance. We provide that. But the other thing, Casey, at our camps that we really take a lot of pride in, it's not just basketball. Mm -hmm. We have, you know, we, we say, we have a saying, you may learn, you never know what you may learn at one of the uh, camps on a given day because we've had, we have classroom settings. We have kids getting life skills exercises. Mm -hmm. We had a, a, a lawyer come in last year and speak to the kids about the legal field. We had a police officer due to all the unrest around the country between citizens and police. We had one of them come in and talk to the kids about how to comport themselves mm -hmm. if in fact they're ever uh, confronted by a police officer. We had a team from the Michigan Osteopathic Association come in and do a clinic. The kids went from one station rebounding, uh, shooting, Michigan Osteopathic Association to talk about the medical field yeah. in case they might want to go into that. Yeah. And we give them a little homework, you know, but the whole idea is to develop the athlete but also the person, the student, yeah. the, the overall Well, and I mean, I'm sure you would agree with this. I played basketball in high school and that's where I learned how to do pretty much that's how I learned how to be on time that's how I learned yeah. that hard work translates into results those all of those basic life lessons sports can teach you we treat it in a very professional manner mm -hmm. you know and the kids have to be there on time we have certain places we have to be we we you know we we're guided by a clock you know so it's very organized and you know your your guest that you had on earlier Rod Rod Beard his son was at my camp mm -hmm. last year for the very first time and I think he liked it yeah <laughs> well yeah I'm sure Rod would uh, agree with that um, that's awesome I'm yeah. I wish I was still young enough to attend basketball camp although we'll I wouldn't come. be I wouldn't be able to keep up with those kids <laughs> and it's cool to get to learn from a guy yeah. who played in the NBA let's be real to kids that's pretty exciting stuff all right now speaking of the NBA let's talk a little well, we bit gotta tell them how to get to me right okay Gregory not Greg, say it, Gregory Kelser. Gregory dot com. All I can the information's that. right there. There you go, all the info that you need to know, and we'll throw that up on our website okay. too, so it's easy to find uh, at WXYZ.com. So um, I gotta ask you though about your opinions about Avery Bradley and uh, that acquisition. I really like Avery Bradley. I watched him, he was a very key cog in that Boston Celtics uh, uprising this year. Mm -hmm. uh, he, was, he, was, he, was, he was solid both ends of the floor and um, and the fact that he's a leader too, he doesn't shy away from that aspect. Um, those are things that the Pistons desperately need and they need consistency and I think he'll provide that for them. It's a good move. Uh, yeah, I hate to see KCP go, but um, you know, that's how, it, that's how it goes. This team had to do something because I don't think he could have come back with the same group and really expected a, 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 a widely different uh, outcome. Uh, everybody will admit they took a step back, was losing the, uh, or excuse me, winning seven fewer games and not making the playoffs. Mm -hmm. I'm expecting them in a somewhat weakened East after Cleveland and Boston, maybe Washington to a degree, um, Milwaukee. I don't, ex I don't expect to see the Pistons competing for an eighth spot next year. It shouldn't come down to that. It should be in the middle of the pack, right. I would think. I hey, I'm I like that, and but you were you were being polite, I think, when you said slightly weakened East. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let that one go, but yeah, the East is uh, not not looking at finest right now. Well, no, we don't have time to get into that, but. <laughs> well, you know the thing the thing of it is, uh, I know Stan Van Gundy's driven. I mean, he takes a lot of pride in what he's doing, and he has to be disappointed that it hasn't come farther than it has. Yeah. At this. But I know they're doing everything they can to try and shore it up in a in a short span of time. Good to know. All right, don't go anywhere. Tweet us, 7SportsCave. Use that hashtag. Uh, Ask the Analyst is next. We'll be right back.